Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree's Arts. All right, you guys, so welcome to my very first brand new content video of 2022. And we're gonna start out this year with some kind of Valentine's Day projects. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge Valentine's Day person. However, the projects that we're gonna bring you today can definitely be made for Valentine's, but I just thought that I would do projects about love that you can have up in your house all year long. So for these projects today, I am using things from Dollar Tree, from Dollarama, from Amazon, from Walmart, and some wood that I found around the house. It's kind of like a whole smorgasbord of stuff that I already had in my stash. And for those of you down in the States, I know that you guys don't have Dollarama down there, but there are ways that you can either make the base pieces that I'm using, or you can substitute things. I'm sure there are beautiful things at Hobby Lobby or Target Dollar Spot or Dollar General, places that we don't have here in Canada that you can use instead of my Dollarama items. So with all of that being said, you guys, let's get into the first love-themed DIY. And here we go, love-themed DIY number one. All right, everybody, we are going to use one of these little crates that you get from the Dollar Tree. And I know that this has been done multiple times by many, many other creators, but I thought I would do my own spin on making these little book stacks. So I'm just taking my white chalk paint and we are going to paint the entire thing up with that white. And then, oh, these rub-ons from the Dollar Tree. I cannot get over how absolutely freaking gorgeous they are. And so all I'm doing is just taking some of the words here. This one says, je t'aime, which means I love you en français. And we're gonna put that onto our top book, I guess. And, you know, just taking my Cricut scraper and rubbing that on. These rub-ons are amazing. You know, if you miss a spot or whatever, you can just lay it back down, line it up, make sure uh, that it's all good and rub it back on. It's so, so easy to use. So the same thing with this little XOXO with a little flower on it using my Cricut scraper, rubbing it on. And you can see there how I lay it back down and then rub on the little pieces that I miss. And then the final XOXO on the bottom. Now I wish that I could find, I, I've seen in a lot of the hauls, those little book stacks that actually look like book stacks from the Dollar Tree. And I've gone to the Dollar Tree, there are four in my city. I've gone to three out of the four of them and none of them have them. So, you know, I'm gonna have to try that fourth one, but we'll see. And here you can see, I did use um, a little bit more of that rub-on on the very top there. It's a whole bunch of script from that rub-on. It's just absolutely stunning. These are ugh, so, so beautiful. And so here I'm just taking a teeny little angle brush and using a little tiny bit of black chalk paint on there. I'm just trying to, you know, give the books a little bit more definition. So, you know, going in between them, creating a little bit of shadow with my black chalk paint there. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. 
And you know, these books would be perfect, like they're perfect on a shelf, they're perfect on a tear tray, all of that. So it's so, so, so pretty. And now I'm using this burlap ribbon that I got at the, or at Dollarama, and I'm just taking it, um, hot gluing them on each end and wrapping it kind of around the bottom of the crate there and then putting it across the top and then taking some um, lace ribbon. This is also from Dollarama. I know that you can get something very similar at Dollar Tree and then just going around the one side again, hot gluing it uh, around the bottom of that crate just like that. And then I did just a very, very simple bow with that lace ribbon there and hot glued it to the top of our books. And now I am taking some Nantucket Blue. You guys know this is my absolute favorite color. And I'm so happy to be DIYing with it again. And I just painted one of these wooden hearts that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then just using a chippy brush here, um, distressing it a little bit with my white chalk paint. And then I'm just going to hot glue that right to the ribbon there. And this is done, this little book stack, you guys. I just think it is so pretty. Here we go with love theme DIY number two. So check this out, you guys. I got these, I, I actually, I think I picked up three of them. Um, just these signs, they were from Dollarama, um, $4 each, but check out the quality. It's just, they're absolutely crazy. And you saw there that I did use my sanding block and I sanded off some of those letters because I am going to be painting some of these um, these planks of this sign um, and leaving some of them blank so you'll, you'll see once we get going here and so I painted a couple of the planks in the white chalk paint and a couple of them with my Nantucket blue and you know just choosing whichever ones you know I want to paint whatever color <laughs> And you guys, like I said, I'm not big into Valentine's Day, so I'm, I'm trying to make these projects um, fit with my decor. You guys know that I live at a lake, so a lot of my decor is somewhat, you know, beachy or coastal. And I'm just trying to do, you know, love-themed coastal vibes here. And I just love how this turned out. So just using some strips of some paper that I got in a uh, like a book or a bundle at Michael's. I, I believe it's called the farmhouse bundle. Um, and I just am making them fit on a few of those planks there. And then we're just going to grab some Mod Podge and Mod Podge those onto those particular pieces. So using my Mod Podge a fair amount because this is um, like thicker-ish paper. Um, so you want to make sure that it's adhered really, really well. And then, of course, I go over the top of that scrapbook paper with some more Mod Podge just to make sure it's nice and sealed in. And then doing that to another plank. Now, again, I got this piece at Dollarama. You could totally use paint sticks to make this. So just cut, you know, a whole bunch of paint sticks and attach them together with hot glue or wood glue or whatever it is that you want to do to get this exact look. 
I'm just lucky that I have a Dollarama. <laughs> And so these letters I got at Walmart. So I believe they were a dollar 47 each, I think. And just XOXO. Now a couple of those you will see here, they are covered in like a burlap. So I'm just taking a little bit of my white chalk paint because I, I just wanted to distress them down just a little bit and give the edges a little bit more, you know, dimension. A little bit more depth on the piece so just very very lightly with my chippy brush and using that white chalk paint and I'll do that to one of the X's and to one of the O's all of these details you guys every little detail makes everything come together so this wooden sign I got at the Dollar Tree, and you will see here, like I'm just lining it up, kind of, you know, figuring out how long I want it to be. So I just marked it with my pencil. I have no idea exactly how long it is, but I just wanted it to be, you know, not completely covering the entire thing. And so that my letters would fit on there as well. So I'm just using my rotary blade um, and sanding that down and then painting that in my white chalk paint doesn't this give you like kind of beachy vibes and you guys use whatever colors you want if you want to use traditional red white and pink or even like a red white and black that would look amazing um to keep with a valentine's day theme absolutely you can you choose whatever colors you want that's the beauty of diy and so here i'm just arranging my letters and going to hot glue them onto that little piece of wood there look how cute these letters are you guys from Walmart <laughs> okay and I'm just you know trying to center this out now ugh, here is where I, I I should have I should have put the tumbling tower blocks directly onto the back of the sign instead of putting them on here I did have to rearrange them a few times you see here pulling it off <laughs> and then I had to re-glue it down because it was poking out a little bit but you know trial and error it all works out oh and see I'm pulling that one off too oh goodness sakes please do what I say not what I do put it on the back of the white sign <laughs> and then I'm just hot gluing that on there and rock and roll that is it so these particular signs came with their own um, twine hanger or jute cord hanger so I'm just using my staple remover taking that off and I am just going to use the exact same rope um, across the other way so that I have the option of hanging this sign I think this would actually look really really beautiful out in my veranda in the summertime so maybe that will be a location for it you know once the weather warms up so I'm just using my staple gun putting that in there and that is it you guys all done All right, you guys, I'm just popping in real quick just to say I hope that you are enjoying these love themed DIYs and also I have a little secret. Well, it's not a secret because I did post on my community tab about it, but come here. 
I got 15,000 subscribers. I can't believe it, you guys. Seriously, I know I've said this a whole bunch of times, but I am here because of you and I appreciate you so, so much. I can't, I don't even think I can really put into words how amazing this whole experience has been. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much as usual for watching, for subscribing, for liking, for commenting, for all of your kind words. It means so much to me. And you guys, with that all being said, let's get back into those DIYs. Okay, here we go. Love theme DIY number three. So we are going to, now, I, I have three of these hearts from Dollar Tree here. I'm only going to use two though, but um, I take these hearts and I'm using my Antique Wax by Waverly and I'm just going to take a baby wipe or paint it on first. Do I paint it on? Yes, I paint it on first. <laughs> And then I will take the baby wipe and wipe off the excess so it gives it that really nice stained effect. And of course, like with these cutouts, the edges are always going to be darker because that's where it's cut, right? So um, the tops are nice and sanded down and uh, they will be a slightly different color, but I love that. It, it gives it dimension, right? And uh, makes the piece a little bit more interesting for sure. So I did that to all of these hearts here and now I'm taking my sanding block and just pulling off some of that wax off of the edges there. Again, you know, make it look a little bit more woodsy and rustic. And now I'm taking some of this Baker's Twine. I'm pretty sure I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. And feeding that through the hole in the heart and then tying a knot in the center there. And I'm going to use some masking tape just so that it's easier for me to thread my wood beads through. And I got these wood beads from Amazon. I'll try to link them down below you guys. There's lots of them on Amazon though. And these little wooden rings, oh my goodness, I got them at Dollarama. They are just so amazing and they came in three different sizes. Oh, I am gonna be using those. Oh, I have so many ideas. And so you can see there, I, you know, put a bead on and then, you know, second guess myself as to exactly what I was gonna do. So for the rest of this strand, I am hot gluing an extra piece of my Baker's Twine to that top bead there so that I can actually make a braid. So hot glue that down and then I am going to braid these, just a simple braid these three pieces here. Well, removing the removing the masking tape first, obviously. What am I doing? Oh. <laughs> I wanted to put <laughs> I wanted to put another bead on first. Okay, there we go. Sorry you guys. Oh my goodness. And so I just put a knot in there and now I am going to braid. See, remove that. <laughs> Jeez Louise. And now I'm going to make a braid with this Baker's Twine. Just a really simple braid, not very far up the, the strand there. Braid, braid, braid. Just gives it a little bit more interest, right? A little bit more texture. And then I am tying that off at the top there. And I am going to um, put another piece of masking tape on the end and thread one more bead through the top. And that is it for our first little hanging heart decor piece. Isn't it cute? Oh, it's so cute. I love it. 
Okay, so that's the first one. Now with the second one, I grabbed some um, just branches out of the yard and I'm using my miter shears that just slice through these branches, no problem. And I'm just making these little like teeny tiny pieces because I'm going to make beads out of those pieces of wood. And again with my baker's twine, same deal you guys, thread it through the hole, make a little knot there, and then uh, take some masking tape, throw it on the end so that it's easy for me to thread my beads through. And so here you can see how I make the beads out of these, you know, just pieces of wood. Um, just using my power drill, drilling a hole through there, just like that. And I'll do that to a couple of these pieces here. And then of course blow all of the, <laughs> the wood shavings away. No wonder my craft room is such a mess after I'm done. <laughs> and just threading that through. And just like that, throw a few more of those, or one more of those um, little rings those wooden rings just like that look at that it's so pretty I absolutely love this and then put a knot in put another bead on and that is it you guys look at them they're so cute I can't wait for you to see them Alright everyone, last one, a love theme DIY number four. Okay, so I got these, I believe they're one by fours, one by fours. Um, and I'm using first my Nantucket blue and you know, just doing a very, very rough coat, you guys. Um, it does not have to be full coverage on these pieces of wood because I am going for you know like a beachy rustic kind of effect on this uh, decor piece as well and so I do the um, the top the sides but I just left the back because I thought it, it was just fine it's really really nice wood right and then I'm using my moss green color by Waverly and you know just doing the exact same thing very rough coat and then making sure that the sides are done on the top and the bottom and then also doing the last one with my white chalk paint and there we go and just sanding everything down bringing out the edges you guys know the drill i love doing this giving this you know rough effect here it does not have to be perfect by any means and I did that to all of them there sand 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 bring out those edges and I love these colors together you guys oh my goodness but again like if you want to do this in the traditional Valentine's Day colors, it would be absolutely beautiful. I'm just doing this to, you know, match my vibe and match the decor in my house. And of course, you guys know, like, these are my favorite colors. All right, so I am taking my um, Gorilla wood glue and a little bit of hot glue, and that's how we are going to adhere these pieces together. Of course, the wood glue is for the long-term hold. The hot glue, just so that I can continue working, so for the immediate hold there. And make sure you don't mix your glues together. Supposedly, they won't stick properly if you do that. And then just wipe out whatever excess glue might be poking out the front there. 
So I cut these decals out on my Cricut and the love is right from Cricut Design Space. I will put, or I'll try to put the fonts that I use down in the description box there, but this says love never fails. And this is just, you know, some permanent um, black vinyl. Putting it on there, making sure everything is all lined up over to the right side of the piece there. And these fonts just went so, so well together. I just love it. And now here I am just taking some twine. This is from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna wrap that around, you know, a few times, throw some hot glue on the end, on the back. Um, and then yeah, just wrap it around, you know, I think I did five, five times maybe. And then hot gluing the last little bit there, cutting off the excess, and there we go. And then using my lighter, just burning on, uh, or burning off um, all of the, you know, fuzzies, the, the bigger ones I do use my scissors to cut off, but you know, burning them off, making them nice and clean. And then these beautiful, I guess maybe rattan hearts, wicker hearts, um, I got at Dollarama as well. I thought they were perfect for this project. Just hot gluing them on there. Isn't it so pretty? It's so pretty and it's so simple. And then just taking a couple of those Jenga blocks, um, throwing some hot glue on there so this stands on its own. And this piece is done, you guys. It's so easy and it's, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. It's so pretty. All right, everyone, that is it for our love themed slash Valentine's Day DIYs. I love how these came out. These are perfect all year, you guys, not just at Valentine's Day. I think that every day we should celebrate love and that is why I absolutely, I'm in love with these pieces of decor. I would love to know which one of these is your favorite or what you are doing for Valentine's Day. Are you guys decorating your houses? Do you just put a splash of Valentine's Day here and there throughout your home? I would absolutely love to know. And if you like what you see, do me a solid tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye guys. working okay everybody I'm just popping in here really quickly I hope that you're enjoying the love themed duh <laughs> thingies <laughs> and for you Um, hmm. Dishwasher's done. So I gotta say, I've started taking biotin and collagen vitamins so that we can get, we can work on this here. Because I don't know, things are... Things are starting to happen. They're happening. It's happening. Hmm. I need a cup of yo. Hmm. And you see, I'll just turn this around. Oh yeah. Got 
this from my friend Lisa. Hey Lisa, for my 40th birthday. I am in my 40s, but we won't talk about that. Yeah. Man, I wish I had a hobby lobby. God. I see these hauls for Hobby Lobby and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I had a Hobby Lobby. <laughs> my mum did my roots today. Gosh, I feel 10 years younger. <laughs> Straighten it out. Okay. Showing some, trying to get that collarbone. Collarbone. <laughs> eh, we're working on it. Ice machine. Ice machine. <laughs> it's so nice and sunny today. It's been freaking cold here, you guys. Like we've had probably two solid weeks of minus 30 to minus 40 degrees Celsius weather. That's insane. That's insane. Over the Christmas break, we were in the deep freeze. We couldn't do anything. Cars weren't starting. Our garage door would, you know, it wouldn't go up. It wouldn't come back down. So... I'm really happy because next week it looks like things are going to warm up around here, but I, yay, yay. Like, ugh, Saskatchewan, come on, cut us some slack here. <laughs> I think that's all I need to do today. I think that's all I need to do today. I want that light to just. No, it's not happening today. Okay. I know you can't fully see them, but like always, the project's right on the shelves back here. The decor here changes constantly, and here as well. Constantly changing. <laughs> Uh, the life of a DIYer.